Seven people are now charged in a large vehicle theft ring. For months, Canton police have been looking into several Ford Bronco Raptors stolen from the Ford Motor Company factory in Canton Township. After the seven people were taken into custody, investigators say they found at least 10 Broncos around Michigan and at least three other states. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney in Canton looking at this widespread problem. Police say thieves have been taking cars like Ford Broncos from this lot here on Hannon Road, just south of Michigan. As you can see, there are hundreds of vehicles here in this holding lot. Police say those thieves got away with $1.7 million worth of vehicles in the last 11 months. Seven men from Metro Detroit are now facing decades behind bars after police say they spent months stealing Bronco Raptors from holding lots in Canton, Dearborn and Woodhaven, a truck with a starting price of around $90,000. They were taking the vehicles and they were retagging them. What that means to us is they're assigning another VIN number to it illegally and getting trying to get these vehicles registered through an innocent buyer. And by that time, that person's already gone with the money and that person's left with a vehicle that they can't drive or even own. Canton Police Chief Chad Boss says the thieves targeted lots like this one on Belleville Road and this one on Hannon Road, among others, taking a total of 16 trucks. Police recovered 10 of the stolen vehicles in states as far as Texas, Arizona and Alaska. They also recovered a few Mustangs, cash and a gun. The seven suspects, aged 19 to 21, were arraigned on charges Wednesday, including conducting a criminal enterprise, which is a 20-year felony. Makes it very concerning for us because we have to find ways to stop it in the, on the front end so we don't subject our citizens to pursuits. We're constantly seeing uh, people come in and out, uh, rows and rows of vehicles, usually uh, Ford vehicles, but it depends on what they're doing. Dylan Bowles, who lives across from one of the lots targeted, says it was concerning to know this was happening so close to his family. Nerve wracking to let that thing keep happening, uh, that there's not more interaction to kind of prevent that from happening. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's not good for the neighborhood. The men accused of stealing the trucks are due back in court next Friday, but police say their work doesn't stop here as they work with the automakers to prevent this in the future. For those that want to try this in Canton and in southeast Michigan, we're going to find you. We're going to hold you accountable. In Canton, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News.